Now we cross over to Nakuru County, where the county has taken over the management of the Nakuru War Memorial Hospital following the cancellation of the extended lease title on the 20-acre piece of land over claims of fraudulent acquisition of the land. The takeover has disrupted normal operations at the private facility as patients were transferred by their kin to other facilities. Let's now link up with our reporter, Miriam Nyambura, who is in Nakuru, to give us an update on this land dispute. A very good afternoon, Marianne. What can you tell us about this? Well, perhaps, uh, Safin, just to start off is that uh, this particular facility, the War Memorial Hospital, has been under 24-hour security uh, immediately after the takeover was effected last evening uh, by the Nakuru County government. So as at yesterday, we've seen heavy police presence here, as well as those from uh, the county Askaris from the Nakuru County government. And this has been the picture that we've, we've seen over time, uh, given that this particular takeover happened late uh, in in the evening last evening on friday night and so at the moment what we have seen is that uh, this particular facility the war memorial hospital management as well as those uh, staff who worked here have um, been distributed to work in other areas and this particular facility remaining closed per se because looking at the pharmacy looking at at every other including even the the, the entrance of this particular hospital is under lock and key and so this was informed by the decision by uh, the county government yesterday evening saying that uh, the title or lease had expired for this particular private entity or the War Memorial Hospital, which is privately owned. And it is a lease, a 99-year uh, lease, uh, which began in 1922. So since it was constructed then, up until now, uh, the 99-year period has already lapsed. Uh, it lapsed in April 2021. And so they were seeking an extension of that particular period. Um, but what the county government says is that their allegations of forging documents uh, to ensure that they extend that particular lease certificate. But let, let's speak to, or let's listen in to Dr. Samuel Maura, who is the county secretary in Akuru, who was here during the takeover, and this is what he has to say. Let's take a listen. The county government of Nakuru wishes to inform the public and the county at large that it has today, on 27th October 2023, taken over the management of what was called the Nakuru War Memorial Hospital beginning today. The county government of Nakuru wishes to convey to the public that it has taken this, it has taken over as a custodian of the public land in Nakuru County, that piece of land known as Nakuru Municipality, Block 11, Stroke 107, following the gazettement of a list uh, title given, to the, uh, given in the name of Nakuru War Memorial Hospital Limited. On the said piece of land, there are the following properties. One, we have the, what was called the Nakuru War Memorial Hospital. We have the Nakuru Teaching and Re Referral Hospital Annex Hospital where we are today. And we have a helipad which is used by State House just opposite the, uh, this hospital. As you heard from Dr. Maura, is that this particular parcel of land hosts three areas, the Nakuru Teaching and Referral Hospital, Annex Hospital, as well as the War Memorial Hospital and the State House Helipad. And so this, uh, these three uh, facilities sit on a 25-acre piece of land, which is estimated to cost about $1 billion, and it is the land that is under dispute. At the moment, uh, we also, we've also seen uh, the hospital beds empty. Uh, we are told that as at yesterday when the takeover uh, took effect, uh, about 18 patients were still admitted to this facility, but patients have been taken to other facilities across Nakuru uh, to ensure that they get um, uh, health care services now that this particular uh, uh, War Memorial Hospital has been closed and the management of Nakuru Teaching and Referral Hospital Annex has taken over. We also tried to speak to the management of the War Memorial Hospital, but currently they are holed up in uh, meetings trying to deliberate on their next course of action given that uh, they claim that they were not given uh, notice, eviction notice. And so uh, they say that this particular move was abrupt and it has actually caught them off guard. But we'll be here just to try and listen to them, get their, uh, their side of the story and file this in our subsequent bulletins at 7 and 9 o'clock. Back to you, Safin.